Andrew. Hey, I think the Harbor Times has been out for a week already. I mean, it's bi-weekly. It's, yeah, it's coming up in a week. Yeah, bi-weekly. How come you, you haven't mentioned any articles? I mean, ah. you, you mentioned the immigration two past series last time. Yep, yeah, yeah. And uh, any articles interesting to read? Well, our cover story, of course, we think is interesting. We had a lot about HKTV in this one because, I mean, that oh, is one. just so... But we, we talked about... Oh, we interviewed story. her. You, you know this woman? Of course. Fantastic. Did you get her in her jail stripes? Because, you know, we're, we're asking. The question no, is, no, no, no. He... he his she, eye, yeah. eyeglasses with this dress actually looks like one of the characters in Madonna's. What, the hamburger one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mentioned that. Not I me. I haven't thought of that. I haven't seen the hamburger Not in me. years. But yeah, Not me. It just popped into my no, head. No, we interviewed her because she is a cultural uh, elite. Okay. And she, she talks about um, how to preserve uh, Cullen City is one of the uh, areas. Okay. The, the, the Oxburn, I think. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's very wary about putting 100 million okay. into renovating Oxburn. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, apparently, she's got some issues about uh, parody used as in political satire. All right. So that's, that's well, a This is an old poster. It is a little bit, but we're, we're asking the question are these you know, convictions or convict? Ah. It's, 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 you know, she's wearing her jail stripes today. So are people oh. you know, who use. Now, this is a little complex, so I got to get All right. it. So the idea is that you know political satire, one of the most effective means of political expression, right? Mm. It's, you know, and it goes directly to freedom of expression, yeah. especially for use in the political realm, where freedom of expression is so important. Parody is one of the most important, you know, one of the most important uh, elements of that because it yep. has such a big impact, which is why governments fear it so much. Mm -hmm. You know, people in Egypt are being put in jail for for satire. Um, it's really can be really powerful. Now, if you tell people they can only use satire from old things, things that are off copyright, right, from 100 years ago, 150 years ago, yeah, you can, and people still do, but it doesn't have the same impact as using something that is current, something that is modern, but those things are also likely under copyright. Hmm. So if you pass a law that says you can't use copyrighted material, are you robbing people of a form of political expression, one of the most powerful forms of political expression? Which... It's becoming extremely popular. Yeah. To our next Very generation. Popular. Very popular because, and they're good at it, which is a reason governments fear it. So we're asking the question where is this all going? The government had a big consultation on it. It finished last Friday, November 15th. Yep. So they've collected all the deputies. Yeah, we made parody the key word for that thing. Parody, yeah. yeah. Par parody, it's funny though, but parody is not the only word. Yes. There are four words you have to consider. All right. And this is parody, satire, mm -hmm. caricature, and pastiche, uh -huh. pastiche, which was a which a new one to me. I've heard the word, but never really understood what it was all about. And it's kind of like a jumble of all these things thrown together to affect a parody or satire. Mm. So, so this, I, you know, we just thought this was really interesting because it goes to freedom of speech, but it also goes to property rights, intellectual property rights, and where the two comes together. How do we protect property rights, mm. right, for artists, uh, and respect the work they've done, but also respect freedom of speech, but, which is so important. But from your perspective, my, my understanding is that Andrew Works always think about the economy and yeah. how to protect uh, asset rights, property rights. In, in part. I think property rights are really important. Yeah. But property rights can't function unless there is a system around them, and that system needs things like freedom of speech. Mm. No, for, if you don't have freedom of speech, you can't have property rights. Right? One supports the other. Right? Because if you can't speak out about it, Yep. How are you going to protect it? So, okay, and the next so the, question. So gotta, I, yeah, I, so it, it is, am, it's, it's, it's really complex. I am definitely for more choices. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a choice theorist. Yeah. I mean, how, if you remember, I mean, how do I consider whether this is a good policy or a bad policy? Okay. If you expand the choices the realm of, of people, choice, yeah. then it should be a better policy. Absolutely. If Absolutely. you limit or reduce the number of choices available, then yeah. it will be a less preferable policy because... Yeah. Because in my Echo 101 class, yeah. my first class in econ economics... Oh, yeah, yeah. Going back in the day. The, the lecturer said that the whole concept of this class yeah. or this subject mm -hmm. of economics rests with only one word. Scarcity. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So more choices means you solve the problems. Can in absolutely. More way. So, absolutely. So I'm 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 I'm, I'm pro choices. I mean, okay. And uh, not not in the abortion sense, but <laughs> but in the but in the abortion sense, sense yeah, yeah. as well. I think. I mean. Yeah. I mean, um, you should give people choices. Yeah. So in this case, I mean, I think 
more ways to express yourself, more yeah. means, more tools, more platforms is better. Yep. Nevertheless, if a satire becomes hugely popular, yeah, and someone make money out of it, sure. Then what should we do with that? Yeah, people have whole careers built on that. People from the 80s will remember a guy named Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah. All, all he did was satire and parody, but it, you know, it wasn't freedom of speech stuff. He was just making fun of people and, and made a lot of money off it, and good for him. That's great. But if um, they make a poster, let's say, if this poster become a huge hit mm. and so for $1,000 per piece, sure. then how can the original well, copyright this, owners can yeah, get is, back the money? This I mean, that's the yeah, question yeah. for a lot of businesses. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, what do you think? Well, there's, there's, there's even a third part because, um, so they're, they're asking about that in the deputation, right? What if, you know, they say, okay, clearly, people are pretty clear to say, and uh, there's only one country that's actually passed laws on this that are in effect. Everyone else yep. is looking at it, but Canada has actually passed laws that are very permissive. Uh, they're saying, if you don't make money off it, you're good to go. Yeah, I think that's all right. Purely political. But here's a question. So let's say I'm not, I make it, I make a video, for example, I put it on YouTube. YouTube is making money off of every view of my video. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, I made it. I want people to see it. It's my freedom of speech. I put it up there. YouTube is raking in the bucks. Should they be allowed to make money off it? Mm. Right? The artist isn't making money off it. I'm not making money off it. YouTube is raking it in. Yep. Right? So there's another question as to whether or not YouTube owes something yep. to the artist. You know, when there's a third party, it's really agree. messy. I agree. But, but I think generally, I, you know, I'm a, you know, now I'm a media guy. I lean, and I'm a freedom guy. I lean towards freedom of speech. You know, and finding the maximum allowable attitude. I agree. I agree. I I uh, think. I mean, after you have heard this debate, I mean, you you should realize there's there are two questions. Yeah. The first question is is related to the platform, Mm -hmm. the medium. Yeah. To express (laughs) oneself. Yeah. That's one question. Yeah. So we have to protect that. The other question is that if people is making money out of that. Yeah. How can we protect the original proper, uh, intellectual property owners? That's the second question. Yeah, con- protect and they and are not mutually exclusive. They are yeah. not. There are a lot of dilemmas. I mean, yeah. you can protect the freedom of speech yeah. while protecting the property owners yeah. can, can can get their money. Yeah. I think uh, that that can be resolved. Well, I think that, yeah. And that for the copyright owners, you know, and I do respect that there needs to be something there for them. Um, they they even have two issues. One is compensation, right? If somebody else is making money off their product, should they be making money too? But also control. They might not want their work to be used at all at yep. any amount of money. No amount of compensation, yep. you know, is worth it to them. And yep. they're like, no, I don't want to see something I created used yep. like that. And that, that's where it gets really sticky. Freedom of speech. I know. So this is one for people to watch. Yeah. Right? Because it goes to so many important issues. Yeah. You know, I think especially satire, freedom of speech. satire will be the keyword for today. All right. Satire will be the keyword for satire today. Satire is the word. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers.